Hey guys, name's Fen. Now that I'm done having fun, let's have a different kind of fun. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Back out on the docks here, and ready to rare to go. I'm about ready to start thinking Help. about... Someone's out on the street! Yeah, well... Finally! You know, gotcha. perhaps this would be an okay oh, time oh. to demonstrate Pavelock Prison. I'll, I'll show you, Taffer. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good idea with the getting tired system, but execution might be... Got it. Fun. Warden says to bring him to Pavelock. A cell is only necessary if the prisoner in question can still walk. <laughs> Warden Stout. Play rock prison. I'm about to make some stoutest remarks to this guy, so he'd best be wary for my racism. Oh man, break out of my cell, get my equipment in the confiscation depository, and then escape from Pavelock Prison, and still counts as the streets for some reason. But, uh, yes. Well, as with most jailbreaks, it's probably gonna be picking a key off a guard or some crap. So, it's the infamous Garrett. You may have heard of me, Warden Stout. It's a name you'll soon come to respect. We only let you live so there could be a public execution. And just so you don't get any ideas, no one makes it out of Pavelock Prison alive. The few escapes we've had, well, let's just say they're dead now. Ain't no second chances for escaped prisoners. Nope, we just cut them down in the street. Master thief. <laughs> And of course, there's no emotion displayed on his face for such a... Yeah, and he has the same voice as the, my landlord, and he's like... We all finally fat got you, Garrett. You've been a thorn to a city watch for a long, long time. Now, who's got the last laugh, eh? <laughs> yeah, and I, I kind of forget how. I probably just have to pick a key off a guard or something, don't I? Or, or make myself a bother. Or something. That's normally the two ways you get out of prison, right? They tell you to quiet down. Oh, if it ain't Garrett himself. Well, you don't look so clever to me. Personally, I'm hoping you try to escape so as I can kill you myself next time you're spotted. Uh-huh. Well, Carry on. To be, to be fair, there's not too many ways you can make a break from prison, but there have been a couple of creative ones and fan missions, if any of y'all remember. Oh, but yeah. was unlocked. Now I just need my equipment. Ah. Now I just need my equipment. Uh, hello, Mr. Albright. Uh, uh, you sobered up yet? Uh, your wife was asking after you. Told me to hold you here for a while. Says she wants you back real sober. And, uh, real sorry. <laughs> now you, you be a good lad. Drink that coffee I left for you. <laughs> oh, uh. Some bloody fool. Right there. What the heck is doing that? Eh. There will be no escapes. None. If a prisoner somehow does get away, make sure they don't survive the return trip. Funny how he just tells you, like, oh, no one escapes except some of them do, but then we kill them again if we find them. It's pretty much inviting you to escape because, serious now. Guess I better only open this door after no one can see me. It's all about the talk in this the mission. The is unlocked. Now I just need my equipment. Cause a place like this, you have to expect some noises. Bees must expect some noisings. Yes. Well, another mission where I am begged by myself to be quiet. For some reason, somebody heard me just closing a cell door or some crap. That's mm, nothing here. Guess I am a little jumpy. And he has the I'm same voice as things more in stride. As the warden as well. It's all kind of judicious and gross reuse of everything. What I can just kind of noise. <laughs> Yeah, as much as I like to free my fellow drunkards and wife not be sorry adders, I think I'm not gonna do it this time. First he says there'll be no escapes, and then he says, oh, if they do, just kill him later. But they won't find him again, because seriously, they can just reload every day. So it's actually pretty simple. Yep. 
So, given I don't have my equips, I cannot just run around rampantly knocking people out all the time. But I can go underneath this drain, which for some reason does not have a fence as the other one does, and go into cells, possibly, maybe, I don't know, maybe there's some loot for some reason. Well, that doesn't make any sense, but there's at least a healing potion, which is actually pretty valuable as I seem to just go through them like candy. You make me sick. It's not a term at all, but... But hey, yes, it's fun to hear them talking and being sick at prisoners. Unfortunately, unlike in the Dark Engine, you can't stand up in passages and bump your head against the ceiling and thus run faster. You have to walk tediously slowly all the time. It's uh, pretty annoying, but hey. I suppose this is how we get into this general sort of area. And... Hey, what's going on with these lights? Now it's too dark. Dry counts bells! Hell's bells. What is he hell's bellsing about? What? What the hell is he going in there for? Stupid AIs. There's nothing in there. What the hell does he think he's doing? I just turned off the lights for go. Oh yeah, I don't have picks. Something could be hiding near those barrels. Uh, no. No, the lights just burned out. Or I turned them out and I'm over here, dude. That's just weird. I wonder what prompted him to go in there. Like, for real. Ah, someone was here, that's for sure. But I've checked, and they're gone now. Shaking my head. Has this guy stuck himself in there, or what? Really? <gasps> oh, you I see. All right, so I guess I'll leave those sodding lights alone, as it seems to cause the AI to be complete asses. Ugh, oh well. I guess he goes in there so you can follow him if you don't have a key, but no, he's got... Okay. Confiscation depository. Finn Carter, one boot, probably stolen. Well, that's minor. Shelley Laster, hairbrush, bottle of perfume. Simon Dorset, a few silver coins held in safe. Court Beasley, one gentleman's wallet, empty. Daryl Pinkett, one bottle of cheap wine. Jack Albright, one bottle of fine wine held in safe. Garrett, thieving equipment. All right, give me that. Oh, that's, that's a note on his... It's a sword. What? Doesn't have. Um, no, I can't remember the normal way I do this. I suppose I probably have to go all the way, all the way over here. Maybe. Let's give it a shot. May or may not be some things in the cells. I don't think there would be, so I'm not really. Parola. There you are. And guiding. Can't watch in every direction. Not every direction. Not all the time. One day you're looking the wrong way. This is what happens when you cross the city watch. I thought he'd say something funny to all the guys in the cells, but I guess it's just one guy and me. Because I'm not a guy, I'm a girl. That's why I'm Garrett. I just had a sex change because I got bored with being a guy on a complete whim. And that's why you do something very unserious like have a sex change. You just do it every single day of your life. And change. Yeah, mm, I... I can't pick this lock without my equipment. It must be somewhere inside the prison. So, I guess you do have to get that guy to walk it. Man, <laughs> huh. But then what happens if you knock him out? There must be a key somewhere. Oh, but you can't knock him out because no equips. So I guess you can't ghost this. Well, I figured it was nothing. Place. Just imagined it. Because you have to turn What's the lights off. On? Thusly alerting the AI. Well. Hello. What's going on with these hey. lights? Man, that is a really. That is a really freaking stupid and nonsensical reason. Like, why would he go in there? I mean, yeah, it's to let you in. Can be searched like this, you're just making matters worse. But there's worse. no sensible reason, and now... Uh, how could we let Garrett get inside there? I know, let's have the AI run inside as if he heard someone there. Okay, well, how do we trigger it? Turning off the lights, which are completely outside, and then the complete other direction. That sounds like a great idea. Ugh. Still there, are you? Don't worry, I'll be finding you soon. It's just, it's just weird. This mission is really unnecessary, in fact. I didn't even go here the first few times I played, because I'm like, man, who wants to go to jail? Am I right? But, hey, 
It's, it's, it's uh, okay. It's a neat out, idea. So like but yeah, they could have easily left it out, in my opinion. That's something. Is that there, my again. equipment? I must right? really be getting close now. <laughs> All right. So that's my equipment, and I didn't even have to bust open a safe to do it because, of course, I needed to bust open a safe because it's lockpicks and stuff. So this. I will find you, you know, sooner or go later. Go over there. Oh, it's a. Did I just throw a rat? No. Whatever. Man, that guy needs to just disappear from existence. I. Right. Cool. Well, not much in the safe, but then again, that's all right because it's a jail and you don't normally go here to loot things anyway. So, uh, yeah. But now, how do I get? Oh yeah, take the lock. Freaking duh. But it would be funny to lock that guy in here. But I guess there's no key, so we can't have any fun in this game. There will be no fun to be had in Thief Deadly Shadows because it is a terrible game. <laughs> Certainly has its charms, however. Yes, yeah, so. Oh well. Oh shit. Yeah, so now I've got equipment and I can bust open some other doors and also knock out this guy, maybe. Except he's. There's something flashing on his waist. <laughs> Not much of a fighter, are you? I, you're kidding with that, right? I swear, I see something flashing on his waist, like a key or something, but. The point is, nobody's here now. I shouldn't beat myself up over it. No, indeed. You're certainly not going to lose your job over Garrett escaping. <laughs> However, it would be fun to let people out if I could just get rid of the opposition some. <laughs> he did have a key on him. I just never managed to take it. I kept frobbing this freaking letter. Well... That explains how you do it ghostily, I suppose. Not gonna let him out just yet, however, as they're probably gonna try to run up here, and there's probably one or two more guys here. I mean, even though this is not very big. It'd be funny if I had a map for here. Like, let's just grab a map for a prison. Let's just do it. Yeah? Well, guess it was just my imagination. <laughs> yes. That's a reply to, you've got the wrong woman. I want to see them have a talk, but no, I guess they're not going to. They're not speaking to each other because they're mad at each other, you see? that That's just what happens between men and women all the time in fiction because you're going to have drama. Well, you don't at all because freaking Miyazaki films don't have any drama and they're amazing. But hey, freaking whatever, man. There it is again. There it is again. Master Bernard Echo. Arador Yaris. Oh, Yaris. It's a car. Worst ad ever. Not gonna say anything to him either, huh? Something rusty. <laughs> and nobody inside even cares that I just sort of began the process of saving their lives. It's a very crazy process that needs a bunch of background workers and stupid multi-threaded shit, though, so it's... it's just... Yeah, that was a hell of a nice scream there, lady. I, uh, quite approve. Anyways, you guys just kind of escape and have fun. Or just hang around because you got nowhere to go. I don't freaking know. You do what you like, man. Do what you want. What could go wrong? A lot in a prison. But, hey, whatever. Nice freaking grin there, buddy. Nice freaking grin. Good thing they're not totally getting in my way and, uh, and uh, running up here, thus alerting people. Oh, Mr. good. Mr. Pinkett, <laughs> you stink worse than a brick's bottom. <laughs> hey, 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 ain't you never heard of soap and water? <laughs> what? Oh, oh, don't you talk back at me, or I'll come in there and make sure you don't ever talk again. Understand? Mm, nothing. Not even sure I heard what I heard. His voice is just really hammy. I, I don't know. I guess some of the originals are a little bit purposely hammy too, but not so much. I don't know. Anyways, that guy didn't talk back at all, but... Say something funny, man. Put away the blank gun. Fakes want to talk about bank, but they make none. Uh... Hey, 
someone out there? Okay, open the door to air out the cell. That makes logical sense, right? Not even sure I heard what I heard. There we go. You'll never have to use soap and water again or be bullied for your tastes in lack of hygiene. I mean, you're starting a big old future trend here for lack of hygiene. I know people don't understand you now, man, but don't you worry. Eventually, you'll get your name in the history of popular history and you will be praised as the guy who started the filth style of the 19 filthies or the 20 filthies as the case may be. I don't know, man. I'm not an expert on history or the future. This mission is a little bigger than I thought. It's not really big, but it just has a few more rooms than I thought I remembered it did. That's all I'm saying. Might be some. Well, look, darn it, really. <laughs> There's efficiency for you. Intel efficiency. And I get some items that I didn't really use. But yeah, I guess this is where they do cruel things to people in order to torture them or something. As opposed to kind torture that certainly probably exists. I just don't reckon there's much of actual material worth here. It's probably all just for, like, the lulls. Like I said, they could have really left this mission out. I mean, it seems like they really didn't spend all that much effort as they could have on it in the first place, so... Oh, this guy's in my way for climbing down. So, eh. Fun idea, but, uh, well, it doesn't really matter one way or the other, I suppose. Pretty sure I'm fairly close to the end here. There might be a ladder up this thing. Yeah, there is, but it doesn't really serve much purpose. But, looks like I might have to get this open somehow. <laughs> oh. Well, there we are. Oh, looks like I have another whole floor, perhaps. Wow, yeah. A lot more rooms than I remember. If I were them, I would have put a guy here drinking that water and smoking some crack along with it. I don't know why I combine. Oh, yeah, well, there's a guy. Maybe not the latter two things, but at least he's in existence. Yeah, it's like Whoa! Whoopie whoop! What? I think he's standing on top of a rat. Delightful. The three E's. What is this nonsense? A ladder that's not straight on in this engine? I guess it still works though. Otherwise, it wouldn't have put it in. Ho oh, oh, ho! Oh. Wow! Actual loot here. Weird, but. uh... All right, looks like there's still a guy sort of kicking his feet around the place. Looks like I'd better give him the fate he deserves for having honest work at a jail, which is probably an okay establishment because it keeps people like murderers away from the public, except it also keeps people like pot smokers away from the public, and that doesn't really matter at all, so they're sort of... What the bloody oh, yes, it's the warden. I see you. Fortunately, you. you're you're sort of no longer a threat immediately and with no real trying. So, yeah. Okay, so this is one exit. Maybe even the exit? Or exit on some machines. Wow, well, yeah, I guess there's a bit more to this than I had previously imagined. I'm not sure if you can knock guys out of You'll have to chairs. Yeah, you can't. I At least AI can sort of sit down in this engine, which is a little better than they used to be. Warden Stout, this quarantine has my precinct in shambles. Would appreciate some extra men if you can spare them, especially at the gates to Stone Market and docks. The quarantine mustn't fail. Send them in soon. We're counting on you. By the way, how's that gouty foot? My man says they come from too frequent bathing, for what it's worth. Captain Blaine Fort Sewell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> too frequent bathing, eh? That's, that's, that's a riot. Also, I'm pretty sure I actually missed at least one conversation between those two guys who converse about the doctor, that pisses me off. Because I like to not miss things. I'll go back and see if I can find it later on, I suppose. Aha! You what? There. Run oh. there goes another 100 bucks or whatever. Or 500 or... And this might be another exit, I guess. Man! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. 
so go out the non-sneaky way. Oh yeah. Well, here I am having used four gas bombs, something like a thousand or twelve hundred bucks or whatever. And, uh, well, gate is conspicuously open. Good to see you. You're a sight for sore eyes. Uh, <laughs> so I think that I'll leave it off here and uh, see you guys later for more fun. And bye for now. Fun!